the South Africa A side, this time against the Bulls, a hastily arranged opponent, a game not formally confirmed until yesterday, but a very important game it is for Jacques Nienaber, the Springbok coach, and his charges, the extended squad of over 40 enormous challenges, and they've got perfect weather for it as well, as they did on Wednesday evening. They lost a test match scheduled against Georgia, one of two test matches scheduled against the Georgians that was meant to be played two Fridays ago. And uh, this a very important game against Jake White's Bulls side, which is uh, a mixture of real youth and experience as well. Simpiwe Matanzima, Skalka Rasmus and Jacques van Royen, who spent some time playing in the colours of Bath in the English Premiership, now back in South Africa and playing tight head for the Bulls. Former South African under-20 international Ruan Norkia, alongside Walt Steenkamp, a former Cheetahs player in the second row. The team is captained by Springbok flanker Nizam Carr, who will be making his way back to English club Wasps, Muller Ace and WJ Steenkamp the balance of that back row. Johan Goersen, a lot of eyes on him today. 13 test matches, partnering Zach Berger at, in the halfbacks. Cornell Hendricks, also a springbok with Harold Forster, who's returned from Japan to the Bulls. And then Stravino, Jacobs, Marco Janssen van Feren on the wings. And the 20-year-old FC Duplessis takes the fullback jersey for the Bulls here this afternoon. South Africa A, well, they've made a number of changes to the team that uh, played on Wednesday night against the British and Irish Lions. Kuni Oosthuizen and Vincent Koch were on the bench. They start either side of Joseph Dweber. First appearance since returning from the UK for Jean-Luc Dupria. Nicolas Janssen van Rensburg played for the SAA side off the bench on Wednesday. Quacker Smith started the first and only test against Georgia at number 80 returns to that position. Elstadt and Van Staden on the flanks. The side is captained by Elton Yankees at fly half. He made an appearance off the bench against Georgia. Kurbus Reinach, his halfback partner. Damien Delendi made a highly satisfactory return from injury on Wednesday evening. He partners the hugely exciting Wandesile Similani in the midfield. And then Apalele Fassi at fullback. He started in his test debut on the wing against Georgia. Yao Penkle and Roscoe Speckman. The balance of the back three. Wilco Lowe drafted into the side. So too Fezel Kuchli and Bata. Uh, and Thomas de Toy also providing cover for the front row. Just the one non-front row forward on the bench. That's Jasper Visser. And the spring box. So Johan Huersen kicks off for the Vodacom Bulls. And uh, early possession for the SAA side. Kurbus Reinach just assessing his options looks for a carrier, finds it in the form of Nicolas Weber for Dupria, away by Reinach, Yankees and uh, Lendi, some slick handling, Yao Penkle. Well watched uh, defensively, will pop inside from Vincent Koch now. Another well set ball for Quibus Reinach, who has a little go himself and bursts through the tackle, Fussy. Wonderful line from Apalele Fassi. Yeah, with the more deciding to go out wide, but because Reinach runs out wide, he beats the forward on the outside, then holds on to the ball, ball in both hands, just waiting for the support. Elton Yankees hits the extra couple. Very quick heel and a pick up at the back by Stian Kampu. He's trying to bully his way through. Berger, Hendricks. Number 13, please. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look good. Also, never on side. Yes. He was never on side. John looked to holding his knee as he went down in that tackle. That does not look good at all. Yeah, you got a feel for this man. I mean, John, I was just having a go here, but he's actually hasn't been involved the last couple of phases. Wasn't the launch that they necessarily wanted. Here's Damien Delendi. Doing a good tackle out of uh, Simpiwe Matanzima. Flat ball for Similani. Penalty advantage against the Bulls. Van Staden's carry. Playing against his franchise teammates here this afternoon. Fassi. Long ball over the top on the bounce for Speckman. And then Similani. And Thomas de Toy. Half a meter short. And Speckman for Similani. Thank you.
But what I like here is Roscoe Speckman trying to keep the ball alive. But then he moves off to nine. He goes to scrum off, and he's got the ability to know that Kubas Renak is in there. Space out wide. It's the second try, just seconds before the half-time break. Elton Yankees starts it at that right-hand upright, fading back in. Down by Stian Kampt, and quickly moved into the midfield for Hendricks and then FC Duplessis. 20 years of age and back at the Bulls after a, a short stint post school at Toulon in France. And here's the gap from Horsen inside from Keegan Johannes. That's a beautiful score from the Bulls and nothing less than they deserve for their efforts. But the hands here, no care. But look what Horsen does. He's incredibly quick, beating the inside defender, the catch up defender. Made a real impression on Jake White since returning. To South Africa and to Pretoria, Jake White century. Amazing to think that uh, Johan Kursen is still only 28 years of age. So much has happened in his career internationally. Inside. So with his stints at Racing Metro and Montpellier, clearly still much to offer, and the offload is again good from him this time. Through the hands to Muller Ace, and then David Creel. Here's Duplessis. Kicking to the inside, it's all on the bounce, and Kromala is in under the post. Wow! The extra two, and we're tied up with 12 minutes to go. The try stands, and it's Huesen again. Spots the gap. Miller Ace with a fantastic line. The offload, the speed to get to Elton Yankees. David Krill offloading to the support player. Who spoke about Messi earlier on? The rugby skills, the kicking skills in rugby is still there. Miller Ace is going to change his position at the back of the scrum. Just stay down on the engagement. Stay down on the engagement. Very effective player for Stellenbosch University in the Varsity Cup and also for the Pumas before making his way to Pretoria for the Bulls. And is there enough on that? You bet there is. The Vodacom Bulls. And Quacha Smith does indeed pick up at the base of the scrum, tackled by Nizam Carr. Miller Ace making a contest over the ball. Knock on, no release, seven. Seven. The penalty goes against Miller Ace. Now, what do the SAA side do? Going for the tap and go. Nicolas Janssen from Rendsburg. But knocked on. Looks like it was lost forward and gathered by Nizam Carr, who. Kicks the ball out over the dead ball line and raises his arms in triumph. A wonderful opportunity for the Vodacom Bulls to come and participate. They were denied a game against the British and Irish Lions. South Africa A led by 14 points to nil at half time with tries from Fassi and Similani. And the Bulls hitting back with. Tries from Keegan Johannes and Johan Krobala. Chris Smith's penalty ultimately winning it for them full time at Cape Town Stadium. South Africa A 14, Vodacom Bulls 17.